holiday so that, uh, into that shape okay so first of all I take my red marker okay and let's make few sections on this picture so that we can uh, analyze the shapes first of all then I will explain to you every single thing that is happening on this picture okay believe me this is exactly the way I learned in school at the art center at the beginning we were studying pictures like those ones and after we start sketching on the basic shapes and then on our car sketches because it is a, a learning understanding process of course so when you start reasoning because you know the rules then it's simpler you do your car and then you know what you have to do okay so this is the first section look All right, can you see? And then according to how I see the picture here, so the reflection, the shading and everything, I know that the other one, it's gonna be like this and then it comes like that. You see? Wait, I am a little bit closer so you can see better, okay? Hi, Tanush. Okay, so now you can see this is just the beginning, okay? Hi, Eshan. Ciao. Now let's move on with the sections, okay? And I will make another section here. And it looks like they are similar. Okay? Like that. But if I make a section in this area, it's going to be like that. If I put a section here, and then here, there we have the other section. Now, let's move on. Let's put another section here, and another one here. This time, it's stopping there, and this one, Okay. This and then this. Now, what's happening here? Because this is the point, the spot, you know, that many times I draw on my on my color sketches, you know, when I put all those real nice reflections in those little corners and the reflection is coming around but why is coming around because this part is like this but when I come here it's lower and then comes up and comes down you see now, if we check the side, already the door, you know, the door section is telling us how it is here. And it's going to be like this from here to here. You see, here we have the other door section. So we have a round on top and then we have a very nice tent section here. Now, what's happening on the front fender? First of all, you can see that here it's going up and then it's doing this. You see? So on the side, it's still this, this surface, which is the main surface. And then it's intersecting in this area with the side fender that at that time, they were not like today's car. It was a separate part just 
uh, welded and uh, with the, with with also I think with the, some uh, screws in the back. But anyway, we have the section is a little bit doing that. Then it goes kind of straight, and then it turns like that. Same thing is happening here. You see? Okay, so now let's check another thing. Here it's like this, okay? All right? This is another chrome part. This is spherical, you see? Same thing here. Now here we really see it. It's a nice spherical plate, you know, cover. Okay? All right, so now let's analyze together. Ciao, fleurs! J'y vais très bien, merci. J'ai commencé déjà mes vacances pour Noël, donc je suis content, reposé, ok. Merci d'être là avec nous. Thanks for being with us. Ok, so, now we have to analyze, because this is just the beginning, you know, to make you understand about which shapes we are talking about. Now, when I look at this top here, ok, until this part, let me put the section, until here, okay, you can see it's very bubble, okay, very bubble, very round, very much in this area. So this is semi-spherical. Okay, this is a semi-spherical. It's almost like a sphere, okay? It's like this one, but huge, very big. So it's here. When I come back, when I come to this part of the surface, okay, that one is a cylinder, okay? Also a little bit semi-spherical because as you can see it's not a parallel cylinder. It's a cylinder that has been, you know, that has been arched, okay? But it is a cylinder. And what's happening here in this big shape? This shape is made of three basic shapes. Three. The first one, okay. I think it's this one. This one. Until here. This one. Because this is a cylinder. Cylinder. Just like this one. Uh, Pegasus, if you want to send me few sketches for review, you can do it in the chat on Instagram, okay? On my Instagram profile. Thanks. Then we have from here to here until here. So this part, okay, this part, this one, this is another cylinder. If you look here, down here, this one, it's another cylinder. And then when we look at this, this little part, this is a part of a big sphere, big sphere, okay? So until now we have sphere, and then we have cylinders, okay?
Okay? Oops. Sorry. I'm destroying my... Okay, now it's okay. Now it's better. But those cylinders, we said that they are arched cylinders, okay? Okay, all right? This part here, the side, it's made of two cylinders. The, the first one is this one on top, which is a tighter cylinder. And it's almost like this one. You see? It's, a, it's like this. Okay? And this one, it's a big cylinder, huge cylinder, this part, this lower part. Okay? Now let's look what's happening here. In this area, we have a sphere like this one. And then we have two cylinders. This one, okay, and then we have this cylinder here, which is like a fillet, but it's an empty cylinder, okay? It's like uh, if we cut a cylinder we, and we watch the surface inside. So now let's analyze the reflection. When we have a cylinder that is very, very tense, which means almost flat, almost flat, okay? It's like a mirror. You see, the image of what's on that side, it's reflecting there almost without any, without any uh, torsion, you know, without any stretching, without any alteration of the image, okay? But when we are in spherical areas or in cylinders that are very much curved, like here, there is a compression, a compression of that reflection, always. And remember, that reflection will never go on top. Why it doesn't go on top? Very simple. Because reflections stay where before the section of the object changes surface. This point is the changing surface of this side view. You see? Because we have a smaller cylinder, so it's very round. While here it's almost flat. So when it's time to change, the reflection stops. And that's exactly what he's doing here too. Because here you have a cylinder, then you have another one, and then you have a fillet here. You see? Fillet. So there is a change of surface. In that case, the reflection will come down it gets into that fillet and comes back. Because the, this, this, what I say usually to every student is that uh, the reflections is scared, you know. The reflection is scared to follow the surface. Okay? When it's time to turn, you know, it says, no, no, I don't go, I'm scared. I let somebody else to take that place. And who's taking that place? The reflection is not taking. It's the core. You see? This is the sky. This is the concentration of the sky. Here too you can see it. And it becomes a little bit darker exactly where you have the round surface, the core. Okay? And that's exactly what I sketch on my solids when I do my, 
my artwork, okay? Now, wait a second, wait a second, because I go and get one of the, the hot sketches I did on solids, okay? Just a second. Just a second that I go and search for it, that it's here, and I will show it to you. Here we go. So this is the sketch I made a few days ago that I put on Instagram. And that's how I explain the thing, you know. Here we have the reflections. Okay? Here you have the reflection. Here you can see the reflection of this cone reflected on the sphere. And a little bit the point of this one. Okay? Then you can see the reflection of the sphere inside the cylinder. And of course, because the cylinder is like that, it squeezed the image. It's really squeezed. Here too, the reflections stops there. Why? Because from here, it's like the second part of the surface that is turning. And as we said before, reflections will never follow. So what, what does it happen? That the sky concentration, so what's on top, will go and take the place that the reflection will leave empty. And, and it's the core that gives the feeling of roundness of the surface. In fact, you can see it here, but you can see it here and here. If I did not put the core, okay, core is written like that, okay, core, which is the sky concentration here, following, of course, the shape, okay, of the object, okay. Then there is another thing very important you have to know that the, the darkest spot of the core is the center, should be in tone value, okay, as dark as the value of the reflection in the darkest spot, which is against the white. I leave the white, why? Because that's how we make chrome. In fact, if you can see here, look, to make it very shiny, you see, the sky and then the white, and then we have the house, whatever, it's reflecting there. You see? Same thing. Okay. All right. So, now that I explained this, I hope that you understood a little bit the principle of how reflections behave on shapes. Now, let's make an exercise. Okay? Let's do it. All right, so if, for example, let me see, let me, let me make a quick sketch, okay? All right, so let me make a, a little, little car, okay? And let's make this car you know, with some nice, juicy, round fenders, okay? So that we can, we can get an idea about what I said, okay? Okay, so let's say that we have this, okay? Choppy! This seems to be the best description about Mirrochrome reflection. Oh, thank you very much, Choppy. Thanks. 
put put a like put a like <laughs> thanks all right so we have you know this hood and i will make i will draw the section okay because when i when i mix my sketches i think about the sections so spherical you see we said that our windshield comes from the conic shape okay you see the windshield is a little part here you see that's a windshield it comes from the cone all right then we have our side okay and the side is a, a cylinder so spherical so that's my reflection okay and then we have this little thing here and how the hell it's gonna be there well i think that should be like this You see, I'm, I'm thinking about the section. And I will do the same thing here. And here it's going to be more like this. Okay, so... Then I can put my lights here, okay, whatever I want to do. All right. Little logo there. Okay. Let me fix this wheel a little bit. Okay. And now let's draw the reflections. Okay, so, first of all, here we have like a spheric, you know, surface. Therefore, if this is the cut from my wheels, I imagine my reflection to be like that then it comes up and then it goes here because this is the point of break you know this is the point of break the reflection is there and then it says oh my god they're changing the surface i don't want to i don't want to follow <laughs> it doesn't follow okay so i make a base okay of a medium gray all right but then here something happens because here we have a radius it's a fillet okay And the surface is coming out therefore this one it's very similar to this one or it's very similar to this one because or this one because they are really facing the light but then there is a radius and comes down radius and comes down this means that here at the bottom it's like that you see because the section then has a radius and has this little part here that whether it's flat or round it's not picking up the light therefore it's picking up the reflection of what coming from here okay and that's why I make it like that all right so now that I did this reflection here, 
I will play with uh, with the, my pencil to make those reflections that look very liquid, you know. So what's happening in this area? Let's follow another section, the section that is in Zira, okay, top view. Keep the light source in most of the sketches. I, uh, my light source is always coming from here. It's enough that you see the shadow to understand that. You see? You see? Okay. So the section in Zira here, it's like this. It's like a Coke bottle. It's like that. And then in this area, starts coming out. You know, to make that chicken leg. You see? And that's why we have this line like that here. So when it's like this, something is happening here. Because this surface, it's not facing that way. It's facing this way. This one. So what the hell are we going to do there? Let's see. That's what I would do. You see? I create a second line of reflection that's going to be a little bit lighter, okay, compared to this top one. And then I make another one that comes down a little bit, you see? So it's describing that shape. You see? Then we have another one here. Because in the fillet, we have again a concentration of reflection. You see? And now there is another thing that happens. We have to make a, a sort of... Um, shading from dark to light to make it more believable. When we look at our side reflection here, can you see that here we have dark to light? Look at this, dark to light. We always have dark to light. Look, dark light. Look at here, dark light. You see? Even here, dark lighter. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. Hey, short, ciao. Buona sera. Okay, so let's do it. You see? Now, wait a second. Okay, I need a... Now we have to just make sure that some of those lines are really dark. And very nicely done in some of those details. Because if those details are not well done, they will never look like reflections. Ciao, Isaac! You see? Look. Does it look like liquid? You see? Now, there is a problem here. Because what I'm doing, it's very nice here, but not here. It's too round. So I'll fix that. It has to fall a little bit more. Because those lines will uh, show the will, uh, how can I say, will communicate the type of surface we have. You see? Now it's better. And what's happening on top? Nothing. We'll just shade. Like that. Okay, so. Here it's a little bit easier in the front. Believe me. The only thing we can do here 
it's something like this look I show you you see we make just a few of those lines Okay. Now what's happening here? Because now that we did the, the reflection, to make sure that we have a good uh, understanding, okay, we have to put the sky, the core, because here we have the reflection, but we said that the space that the reflection leaves empty is taken by the sky or the atmosphere or whatever is in the room. So let's do it. As you can see, I always leave the white around my reflection always here we have to clean up this has to be round you know to be correct because we said it's a semi-spherical okay and then here it's not spherical i mean it it's more like a cylinder it's almost empty you see then here is getting full, and here it's full, okay? So this, uh, this side, it's really has a twisted surface, which is not an easy one, but it's very beautiful if we could really make it this onto a concept car or whatever. So here it's flat. So look. And then it disappears because this part is going up you know and it's picking up the light even more now what's happening here first of all as a spherical cylinder we have our sky you see then here we have this uh, front fender you know, that looks like a Volkswagen uh, buggy or a Porsche or something similar. Then we have a reflection here. And where are we going to put that reflection? Look, it's going to be easy. Let me draw the sections. Okay. And then we have this one here. Here too. Here too here too and then we have a fillet right because we like those beautiful fenders that are all soft you know now that I have the sections I can guess where I will put my reflection look we said that the reflections does not follow any surface change okay it stays in its part. Look, I take the fillet line and then I take the other one where this big radius on top it, com it starts really changing, turning, which is this one. So if I do this and then I make this round because we have nice round fillets so nothing is really sharp. That's my reflection. And because it's a reflection it's going to be dark.
Can you see how you can read the shape? And, and I'll tell you one thing, one more thing. Here we have this, okay? Like here. Right? Here we have another reflections because here, because this is like a, a cylinder, the cylinder has two reflections, one on the left and one on the right. You know, if I make a cylinder up here, every time we draw a cylinder, we have our main reflection here, okay? You know that, don't you? But we have another one here, very compressed, because this cylinder, if I look from here, okay? If I look from here, from this side, I have the main reflection here, okay, because there are things here that are reflecting, okay, which is this one. But I have also the reflection here from objects reflecting from the other side. Therefore, it's exactly this case here. The reflection is dark because that's because it's reflecting the object, Aurelian. That's why. So we have a little bit of black here. Like that. That will die. And then we have the core. You see? Now you can read that, that hood. You know. You know? And because here we are in shadow, because the light is coming from here, I make the reflection and then I kill that reflection with the core. But not here, because the, the sun, the, the, the light is right there, hitting right here. All right. Now, now that we did that, there is another reflection here that we have to do. Okay, first of all, let's make our reflections on the windshield. And as we said, the windshield is a part of a conic shape, right? That's why my reflection has this shape. Wide, narrow. You see? Wide, narrow. Same thing. It's a conic shape. Okay, so let's do it. Wait. Let's do it. Then I go a little bit light here. You see? Because I will make transparency with the very dark shape there that will look like, you know, a little bit of the interior and it will look like the pillar on the other side. You see? Now, let's make the reflection on the side. That's a cylinder. It's like this. You know? It's this part. Look. Here it's straight because the cylinder is an extrusion. In this case, the cylinder is a cylinder spherical. And that's why the reflection is coming down. Because it does want to turn. He's scared. There is a corner there. You see? 
Yes, uh, army, all surfaces. Now, let's do another thing. Here, what do we have? The core, like here. Let's do it. You see? Almost as dark as this spot. Here I left a little bit lighter. The reason is very simple. Because this windshield, in top view, it's a little bit like this. You see? So we have those corners that are around, you know? Once again, you see, I think about sections. And therefore, because it's a conic shape, you see? And here we have our reflection. That's in top view, okay? This one. All right, now let's do the front bumper so we can help uh, Yash. <laughs> front bumper, let's say that we have this type of, uh, of surface, okay? All right. So this bumper that is around it's a big cylinder, you know? This one is a big cylinder. If I draw the bumper, the part of the bumper, it's like a big cylinder that is doing this, you know? And here I cut my bumper. You understand? That's very important. You have to, you have to reason like that so that you know what's going on. Therefore, we have a, a very nice, smooth core, okay, until the middle, so it's going to be darker here, shading, and then a little bit on the side, leaving white because we have a reflection there, okay. And then here we'll have my reflection. You see? Yash, that's your reflection for the bumper. Now, if we want to put a, I don't know, a line here, something like that, because we want to do something like this, okay? Okay, you can do it, no problem. Okay, so, the top. The top also will have a, its reflection. It's going to be very tiny. Here it's going to be like 2-0, because it's, it, it's turning. But here we see a little bit more. Can you see? And of course, we have a core. Going to white or to a clear. And on the side, we have also the core. So now we have our car with all the reflections. But we are still missing a few things. Now look here. 
Here we need to do a little bit of th those nice, juicy reflections. So I'm going to do that. Look. You see? Can you see? It's, it is better like that. Okay, now there is the little detail that it's much better. There is another thing that we have to do, because a lot of people don't do on their car sketches. There is always a little bit of reflection of the windshield onto the hood, okay? I show you. When I have inside view a car like that, you know, very aerodynamic, we will have a little reflection here very small when i have a car that is more like this okay and the hood is more like that there will be this part reflecting until here let's do it Do you see now the reflection of the windshield? Here we're going to put our little pillar. Here we're going to put, we're going to show some of the plastic element behind the glass. It's, it's enough to put some nice black lines that really show and give that feeling, you know. You see? Now we, we have a feeling of element, plastic elements behind the glass. Okay, now the last thing I want to do. Okay, this is the wheel. It's this. So, now when we want to make this all chrome, okay? As we said before, this is a, like a semi-spherical. This is a sphere. I cut my sphere and that's what I get, you know? All right? And then I put my core here. That's the sky. You see, I, I try to be very kind. I don't want to make a mess. I want to go from dark to light. 
in a very believable way. So I'm, I'm thinking about the whole surface, how round it is, you know? There you go. Now, if I want to add another detail, like a cap, I have a, I have a cut. I just make that line really damn black. You see? That's it. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this uh, this lesson. If you did and you want to offer me a coffee, please, now is the time. I help you with your reflection. This is a free lesson. <laughs> okay, you can hit the super chat or super sticker or whatever you want to do. All right, thank you very much. Now, wait that I complete the shadow. Okay, let's make this line a little bit thicker so it looks much better. Okay, so any questions? Did you understand what, what we did? What we're we talking about? Can you please explain reflects on some type of sporty wheel design? Okay, next time we'll do that. Why not? Okay, now of course we can have fun. Eh? We can add details. We can do things, you know. Can do whatever, whatever you want. Okay, now I, I change camera again, all right? Thank you, Yash, you are very kind with me. <laughs> all right, so here we are. So, So we, we section this photo to understand a little bit the rules of how reflections display themselves on uh, surfaces. Ciao, Charlie! Okay, thank you very much, thank you. If you want to offer me a coffee for Christmas, now it's the time.